The Canadian dollar has had quite a ride over the last 20 years, and it has had a dramatic impact on Canada's industrial backbone. As you know, Canada and the U.S. are the largest trading partners in the world in terms of the value of their overall trade. And to make the necessary adjustments from a 60 cent dollar to a par dollar has been nothing short of an incredible feat by many of the industries that form the backbone to our industrial capabilities in Canada. A high dollar makes it very attractive for imports um, to be pursued because we're going to pay less. Our dollar is worth more and the markets that we purchase from are going to be more attractive to us. A high dollar has the converse effect though of making our exports less competitive. With that exchange rate though, Canada also has business with the rest of the world and if you really look at the story about the US dollar fading relative to the rest of the world versus Canada's strength to the US dollar. Some companies that we are involved with as a customs broker have incorporated importing into their overall manufacturing strategy. In other words, they're able to get their imports much cheaper from foreign sources than they can from either domestic or North American sources, and so they use those to incorporate into their finished goods. Or secondly, they incorporate finished goods from offshore markets into their product mix because they allow them to make more profit margin on their sales in North America. In one way, it makes imports much cheaper, so it incents traders to look for new markets abroad where the Canadian dollar is an advantage. On the flip side of that, it makes exports less competitive and ends up squeezing margins for exporters because often the customers for Canadian products aren't going to accept a price increase so where does the Canadian dollar increase on the exchange go? It goes against the margin so Canadian exporters tend to make less. So it, it creates both a challenge and an opportunity for Canadian traders. They can look at supply chain expansion, new markets um, and new suppliers for inputs for their products. They can also take a look at new markets beyond the U.S. because if we're going to be dependent on that market um, and the U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar relationship isn't to our advantage, we may want to look at markets where the Canadian dollar is less of a barrier to entry.